Morning YouTube, Vampire Connor here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to basically make this. So yeah, so the one thing I I've done like these models aren't really exactly mine, but let's you know I will show you you know how to get the trees and the rocks except you know and all of that stuff so yeah let me just delete the depth of the field we'll be getting into that a bit later but there's this kit that I found that I will link in the description and it gives you all of this you know stuff and basically I use it to create this scene right here with all the rocks and that so once you've downloaded the um, kit that will be in the description I will be just reviewing certain parts so yeah so let's go for on um, like here here is basically where you could get all your trees see I found this tree and I basically duplicated all that but there's a whole load of trees you could choose from you could pick your style the one that you like and yeah that's pretty much this section for all the trees now here is the rocks and you know not I didn't use any of the rocks over there but I did use um these rocks here these to make the pathway and then here's like some little plants and decorations like a tree stump and some small grass logs and all that so yeah that so uh, you know those are just like I guess decorations and then here it gets into more of like leaves on the ground taller grass some sand right there like I guess twigs and leaves that should probably be end up on the ground and here we have more like bigger rocks and some you know shrubs and plants and all of that. Here are the images of the, um, you know, plants and all of that. Like some of these you could put on the side of the, like a wall of a house and that. And now here is like where, this is different from nature, but these blocks are basically a whole, but almost like a texture, um, energy or assets and all of that. So like they, well. Uh, be gray when I press control D you know duplicate I, and I could apply color to it so yeah I could create my own color to on the block so all these textures are basically customizable with the, the, your chosen color and you know that's mainly the textures so we could have a look, some of these are tiles, bricks and all of that. I'm sure you could use them in interesting ways. Like we could look at the floor one. Now here are actually coloured textures. I'm not sure, I don't think they are these but coloured, they are like a different pack. So here we have like I guess vents, tiles. That looks like crates. And you no, know, here's it's just a whole bunch of um, you know, textures that actually do have color, and these are more of like your usual um, you know, add your own color to them. So some of these are colored, like there. Some of them aren't. You have to add your own. Okay, then we move on to I don't know what this is, but well, I mean they do seem to be more textures so here's some tiles and, and more you know all of that and then your like add your color and here's even some wood textures colored and non-colored all of that and yeah you could also like edit them in a way so like when I take this out you can add your reflection by um turning this like the Uses, they use fabric as the starting material, but you change the material to actually have reflections of the sun. So, yeah. 
Now here is like more that you you know you basically have a whole bunch of textures and all of that. Then more grass and then there are some more like I guess yes for rocks. So with all of that you could um you know make a very good scene like you could grab some of these and maybe add it to your scene like I don't know. But like it, it's almost like you if you don't want to add your own um textures like upload it to Roblox because all of these already have their textures. And that is wonderful. So it could save you a lot of time basically getting all of this. Yeah, so now now here's some new things that you could do with um no Roblox. So I have the sun rays, so when you go up to camera, you could click here and then press like D and then the depth of field. And you basically click that and whatever's close to you is quite clear and whatever further is more blurry. So now we could change the settings a bit. So I like it so that there is blur but further in the distance. We do have our focus distance that, you know, just change a bit your in focus radius basically makes more of the background blurred and the, another thing that came with this that I didn't use because like there isn't really need to um, let's go to lighting we have to first add sky to lighting and then we could add um, atmosphere when you add that, basically brings out almost like, in a way it's a kind of a fog. So you can, you know, edit your atmosphere and make it more dense. Basically, yeah, and you could make a, some really good fog with this. But, yeah, that's, um... So that's basically my tutorial on how to basically make certain realistic things. Let's go of that. Okay, so you know you could just I will have the link to all of this in the description. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe and see you guys next time. Bye.